morning, video games. Welcome once again to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you for joining us for another week. My name is Tommy Dasilo, and joining me in my kitchen... Hello, filthy animals. It's Ben Vanell here, rounding out the trio. Kitchen boys, the three of us, <laughs> all of us here... Kitchen and kitchen, Henry Kitchener. The enthusiasm. I should be honest. It's the kitchen slash living room. Yeah. Slash uh, laundry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This on the like floor plan because I've been looking for houses lately. Mm-hmm. This little part would be would have be listed as meals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, this place because yeah. So you, yeah, you're you're in you're in the hell that I was in a few months ago. <laughs> this was one of those ones where I so I, my place is really great. I'm really yeah. happy that I got yeah. it. But this was one when I came to look at it. There was no floor plan plan there were barely any photos of inside mm. the house and so i turned up to this inspection going i'm literally just crossing this off the list this will not be any good sure because normally the lack of floor plan says we're hiding something <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's something we don't want you to know about this place otherwise no one is going to come to this inspection mm. so that was one i went to yesterday mm-hmm. where the bedroom was literally a room the size of a bed oh. <laughs> yeah Brutal. Uh, but and like it that'd be fine because I'm getting into this idea of like have the bedroom just be for sleeping, man. Yep, yep. And whatever else you want to do in there, oh. as long yeah. as it doesn't involve technology or whatever. Mm. But uh Oh yeah, like no blue lights, nothing to keep you awake sort of situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No like what is that noise? It's a saw. I what hate noise? it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should have. You should have. There was a saw noise. outside, and it's fucking nighttime. How <laughs> dare you be? Yeah, sorry. I know. Yeah. I think we've have we talked on the pod before about the construction site that sprung up over my uh, outside my house, like the I day I moved in. I don't huh. think so. We did. Yeah, this place about is great. <laughs> yeah, it's really kicked off in the last couple of days. This mm. week, they are really going for it out there. Yeah. Listening to a lot of commercial radio in this house today. Yeah, a lot of Katy Perry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> lot of Cicada Perry. Yeah, yeah, nice. Was, Katy did. <laughs> listening to some Fitzy and Whipper. Oh, yeah. On the way over. Great, mm-hmm. great. A- ain't nothing happening on that show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. just goes along. And mm. they're like, hey, do you? They well, were talking about. Careful where you throw those stones at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, do they talk about floor plans much? <laughs> no, they were talking about whether you use your iPhone to like track your kid with a find my iPhone. Okay. Oh, okay. See, this is the thing. Like, I think, This is the thing I've always wanted to talk about. I think podcasting is way harder than doing commercial radio. Yeah. Like, the, the amount of stuff we've talked about already on this. Two, nearly three minutes of this episode, <laughs> we would have stretched that into 45 minutes of content. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Of each, each of the What's the worst thing that's happened just after you've moved into a new place? Yes. Yeah. Um, floor plans. Yes. Uh, what's what's what bad inspections floor? you've gone to? Bad inspections you've yeah, gone to. Yeah. yeah. Um, floor what, plans. And what are, <laughs> isn't. I, I would have jumped on you more about the you saying the bedroom is only for sleep. I'd go, well, what else are you going to bloody do in a bedroom? Yeah. And then we could sure. get on to what are other weird things that you know that you've done in a bedroom? Yes. That's <laughs> Three topics right there. We have songs in between. Mm-hmm. That's the whole show done. That's three hours. That's, yeah. th- that's three hours done and dusted. Yeah. G'day, boys. Uh, I'm Craig from Cranbourne. Just call it. Uh, my my missus does a weird thing in the bedroom where. Uh, what does she, she do, Craig? Uh, she uh, always it lights candles and sits on the bed doing her yogas. I'm trying to find the button oh, to wow. dump this caller. <laughs> where, is, now, where is that again? You can't dump me, I'll dump you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, you should dump your wife, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and, but yeah, the floor plan thing, is, and like, <clears throat> if there's one fuzzy picture of just the outside of the place, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. that's terrifying. But Massive going to all these houses, as if that's a selling point. Ooh. <laughs> It's good from the outside. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Rectangular brick building. <laughs> Anything could be in there. Uh, the, I'm so fucking exhausting today. Exhaust uh, and exhausting. Yeah. yeah I, can, <laughs> I can attest to that. Because I've been to like 50 open uh, in for inspections. Yes. All of them. Worse than the last. Oh, except yeah. for the last one, which was the best. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, but it's weird going around. And like, kind of primarily thinking like, I put a TV there. Mm-hmm. Yes, and there's enough plugs there to mm. have everything set up. Did you go to any today where the people, the current people, are yet to move out? Because I find that very helpful. I did that last week, mm. and uh, it, it seemed as though the woman like maybe didn't want to move out or something. Yeah, she was it quite... wasn't even advertised. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I walked in just like eating a big rock melon. <laughs> My TV will go there. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be bigger than this piece of shit, though. Uh, it's uh, there's a lot of places without fucking windows here too. Yeah, really. Right. I've never really had to deal with that before, but man, especially in bedrooms, the bedroom mm. will be set back. And you want natural light coming into a bedroom so that you can wake up along with the birds. Absolutely, yes, yes. yeah. Uh, my dad, so my dad's an architect. So when I was going to inspections a lot, he just froths on it. Like mm-hmm. he loves like hearing about badly designed departments. Right. So he would know I was going somewhere, and then I'd leave, and he'd call me and he'd be like, "Tell me everything." <laughs> he'd be like, "Well, they've got the bathroom on this side of the house." He's like, "That's fucking madness." Oh, no. Like you can't get enough of it. Yeah. Wow. But you do, you do get used What's to. What's the weirdest some... floor plan you've ever seen? <laughs> there we go. Great. Dad would be calling in. That is. What's weird, weird yeah. stuff that your dad's obsessed with? There we go. We just got another hour out of that. Great. Fucking hell, you are. You do have a knack for just like turning any bullshit thing into a radio. Well, segment. I think it's because mm. like through doing podcasts for a while, I've gone. For like to try and get like radio jobs, yeah. and been told you wouldn't really get what we do in here because you do a <laughs> podcast that goes for an hour, and it's like, yeah, but that's a, that's a marathon versus a sprint. Yeah, like, yeah. Totally. we have to keep the wheel spinning for a fucking hour without being able to throw to songs. Mm. God, that would be a luxury. I'm gonna give, yeah. I'm gonna give you some just like topics, Great. and okay. turn them into radio things. Okay. Yeah, yeah, call them um, topics. I got socks for my birthday. Okay, uh, can you give a person socks? How well do you have to know a person to give them socks? Yep. What is a gift that's worse than a sock? Yes. Um, classic you, bad gifts that you've gotten, that's the easy do one. Do you have a favourite pair of socks? Yes. Why are they your favourite pair of socks? There you go. Socks? Do you have a lucky pair of socks? Yep. Yeah, you could spin yep. that off. You'd get. Okay. And then often what would happen is you'd get a caller where they would say something so ridiculous mm. that then you know then the topic would turn into, you know, you'd spiral off from there. Absolutely. And, and this stuff writes itself. They, they'd win the mystery pack. <laughs> Why are these people paid so much? Much. I don't know. It's the easiest job <laughs> going the, around. It uh, it's not simple to come up with calling yourself Whipper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about uh, video games? Um, no, right. oh, okay. fuck this all right. You really stunned me. <laughs> I, here. Um, I mean, assuming it was a week where a bunch of stuff had come out that I had, you know, played all of the new releases. Sure. Yeah. You sure. know, but if it was a week where you know I hadn't really played much apart from stuff that you know I'd already talked about at length. Yep. Um, there wasn't really any news. Not much to speak news. Of. Not really any new releases until you know a, a certain big release was coming out in a few weeks' time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'd. But I would guess what I would do in that case is I would like. Deflect, and I would talk about something else. Like I would talk about yeah. some other medium, like just off the top of my head, commercial radio yeah, or sure. floor plans, the yeah. greatest medium of all. <laughs> What's your favourite floor plan in a game? There we go. Oh, none of them. <laughs> the splinter cell levels where you went into the meals section. Oh, very nice. The, uh, I should get my dad into video games where you're in houses a lot. Fallout 4, he can build his yeah, own house. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, or, but like... The way that I, we, I think we've talked about this before, Fallout Four especially, mm. everything looks like shit and they don't bother <laughs> to clean up. Yeah, always bother me. Like, there's no sense in building a house if they're not going to put any fucking effort into the corrugated <laughs> iron. Mm-hmm. My my house mostly fine, except for the window that doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, and so that still hasn't been. You haven't talked about that on the show, have no, you? No, no. Window I, got blown out and they it's yeah. still just covered up by fucking wood or something. Yeah, yeah. So I have it's a like window. You're living in the project in there. Uh, that's how I feel. Like, <laughs> I hate living, it. Living in Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like the the frame started to rot and I was like, oh, the glass is going to fall out. So they were like, cool, we'll fix it. And they took, they brought some guys over, they took the glass out, boarded the window up and then I was like, cool, so when are you fixing the window? And they were like, probably about 12 months time and it's literally going to be 12 months. Well, that's really weird. Yeah. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I would go around and break all of their windows and say like, hey, 12 months, I'll fix them. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that would be good. Why? They did it to you. Yeah. yeah an eye for an thing. eye. Yeah. All right, I'll do it. I'll when check back, their eyes. I'll take back. When have you ever committed a crime out of spite? <laughs> it's a call. Um, there real was estate me. agents. The worst people on the planet? I uh, think so. Like it, it changes from person to person, obviously. But uh, were they, did they count as salespeople? I yeah. guess, yeah. They're definitely the worst They take people, commission yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So they you're be early enough in the process, Adam, where I can see you're still on the fence. Give it another week of being dicked around by these people. Yeah. And you will just fucking... It's make- weird that they put their photos everywhere. Yes. I don't understand why they're like plastering their faces on all of their forms. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen with any other... You don't get like a smiling judge yeah. looking up at you yeah. every time you get a parking it's fine. like <laughs> It's like them and fucking people in an improv troupe. Yeah. The only yeah. people that are like compelled to put their photo out there as much as possible. 
It is so weird, just this idea of like, you know, I mean, you know me. Here, here it is, the great man, the great real estate agent. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just, yeah. a, I'm just like you, you know. Mm-hmm. Here I am in my suit. You know, the famous one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I just wanted a house, but hubba hubba. <laughs> that, that's it. It's like, oh, that one was the hottest one, so I'll definitely rent that house that I'm begging them to let me rent. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why people think that wearing an expensive suit and smiling at you makes them look trustworthy. Mm. Totally. That yeah. makes mm. someone look like the dodgiest motherfucker. Totally. Yeah. Wear, wear like a pull-up skivvy. A, sk- okay. a pullover, I mean. Yeah. I it's not a pull-up skivvy. Yeah, yeah they're all pull-up. Wear a fucking Wu-Tang shirt or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just mm. go like, hey, bro, I've got slacks on. Yeah. Yes. Especially when it's like... Someone who's doing like the you know the rentals in mm-hmm. like a you know in the in the in the in the north or whatever yeah the funky where, inner north yeah where it's like it's Melbourne's the photo is of like <laughs> where the photo is of some like twenty year old wearing their dad's suit yeah, like, yeah. look yeah. like shit yeah <laughs> yeah you've got an undercut it's not even the nineties still <laughs> Why? get back into that built in robe <laughs> go past the meals area <laughs> and get changed uh, you've still got silver shit all over your mouth from all the fucking Chroming you did on the weekend, <laughs> you little rat. <laughs> 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 Hypothetical real estate yeah. agent that I'm very angry at. Uh, yeah, uh, there was news this week, by the way. We said there wasn't news earlier. There was fucking massive news. Yeah, big news. yeah. There, there was some big ass news. Yeah, a few people out there that are going to be uh, doing a bit of, uh, you know, house inspecting of their own, mm. or maybe the, they'll, maybe they'll be kicked out of their house because mm. they'll be homeless. Yeah, I hope they not. couldn't pay the rent. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying Boy. I hope for it, I'm just saying it might happen. It sounds no, you, like you're saying you, you want that to happen. You're saying it in a very positive tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Telltale is done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just out of nowhere. Out, out of the Completely blue, Completely yeah. out of the blue, yeah. 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 Like, there have been stories, I think earlier this year even, about the management being fucked there. Oh, really? Mm. I remember seeing that, but it was more in a way of them kind of overworking them and uh, uh, over which, time unpaid. Which, and which is stuff. almost every studio yeah. at some point there's a story about. They all do that, about. that crunch yeah. thing. Like, they all work 24 hours a day. Yeah. And they were expanding so quickly that, like, uh, The Walking Dead, the first series, was made with, like, 40 people or something like that. Mm-hmm. Right. And then they expanded to 300 people working there very, very quickly. Yeah. So they started getting every license that they could off of everybody that they could find. Mm-hmm. So they, they, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, The Wolf Among Us, uh, a couple of seasons of Batman. Yeah. yeah. They had Guardians of, Guardians yep. of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yep. That, yep. that had come out. Game, yep. of, Game Thrones, of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yep. yeah. Uh, Minecraft. And, yep. Yes. The Borderlands for some reason. Yep. yep. Sam and Max. Yeah. They rebooted Sam and Max. I want to say a Lego one, but I might be wrong about that. Heaps. Like heaps. heaps. I, it's fucking insane. They were working on a Stranger Things one mm. that Netflix is still like funding for someone else. But yeah, it's just, it's done. Everyone got laid and off except for 25 people to just yeah. fulfill obligations that they have, which doesn't include finishing season four of The Walking Dead. Right. Yeah, which is that currently was, halfway done. That was big news today of like, well, what's going to happen with that? Mm. Yeah. And worth pointing out, which may be part of the reason, uh, we just named a lot of different series that they do. By and large, basically making the same game. Mm-hmm. Again and again and again. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. played a bunch of them, Ben. So they're the kind yeah. of the modern iteration of Jurassic the point and Park, click. Back yes. to the Future. Yes, yes. they yep. were the earlier ones. They are, yeah. They're point and click adventure games, basically. Mm. I read something today that I assume is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, the moon landing was faked. Oh, wow. That's um, sick. Yeah. Why what did was... they do that? Which yeah. one? The fourth moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Apollo 16. <laughs> 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 um. No, the thing that I read is that they don't own the licenses and they don't own, like, the royalties or some crazy thing like that. Yeah. Like, there are things attached to these huge licenses that the companies are never going to give up to Telltale. So they're not making as much as other companies would of successful games. Right, right. And they really do, they develop the episodes in real time as they're released. So it's, Which is an insane... But it must be because they're like waiting on money from the first yeah. episode. Yeah. Like it, it seemed like a bad business model. Because they sometimes take ages in between too, right? Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. It, it's just way of playing stuff never appealed to me. It's like yeah. if I'm never going to play this, which I've I've dabbled in a couple of their games and just not, just not loved them. Mm. I guess I'll talk about that a bit more in a bit. But like... Yeah, I, I've just – if I ever was to, it'd be like, well, I'll wait until the whole thing's out. I don't want to yeah. sit and – like, I'll just – I'll lose my investment in it and if I have to wait for four weeks. Like. Yeah. Situations like this as well where you're halfway through a series yeah. and mm. it's fucked off. Yeah. <clears throat> it sounds like I'm getting emotional. <laughs> 
But like, the, yeah. I'm getting frustrated <laughs> with the sound of my voice. Uh, it like, I apparently the way that those season passes work mm. is that it's a promise that you're buying, but it doesn't have to be fulfilled. Right, right. It's not like a contract where you legally <laughs> need to have your goods at the end of it. It's like, hey, right. we'll do this. Give us the money, and we'll give it to you when when they're made. You get access. Get made. Yeah, you get access to the four empty slots, and if they get filled. Hey, that's great for you, yeah. but there's no guarantee. That's yeah. That's I mean, that's true of almost anything if you look into it. Where there's like some, there's some terms and conditions where mm. it's just like, like flights are very much like that. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, we cancelled this because of rain. We don't have to pay that back. Yeah, sure. That's that's, that's on you. The <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the company has gone bankrupt too. Yeah, and mm. like, okay, sure, we'll make it. How you do it? Yeah, which is like at the point that's kind of what they're saying. That like maybe someone will step in and finish The Walking Dead. So Walking Dead is the only one that is currently they is, were, is in the middle of being released. Yeah, there were Stranger whispers. Things they were working on, but that hasn't that hasn't come. No. Yeah, to Wolf light. Among Us season two and I think Game of Thrones season two were promised, like were revealed. Yeah. yeah. But it, yeah, they they weren't working on them. I guess. Or they I weren't think so. Them. Apparently, their games just aren't super successful. As yeah, well. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, they it's weird because everyone know. Like I've seen this news kind of like shared around in a mm. bunch of different groups. Ours being one of them this week, and it's a company that everyone everyone knows and knows the games that they make, mm. and you know knows a fair bit of stuff about them. But I don't. And well, that even yeah, there being a bunch of people in our group that were like, "Oh, this is a bummer. I really mm. liked this one and this one and this one." Yeah. It is weird to have that kind of like ubiquity and still not be successful enough to stay afloat. I thought they were like a blockbuster company essentially, yeah. yeah. But expansion plus, like you're saying, licenses, they probably should have put more time into coming up with their own new thing. Yeah. And that uh, that's what I was going to say before is that that's sort of the main thing that never really appealed to me about this stuff of, of like – playing this kind of interactive story of something that I already know. It's like, yeah. well, I'll just go watch Stranger Things or I'll watch sure. Game of Thrones. Like, yeah. if I'm going to get drawn into something like that, I would rather it be something that is just a completely... Like, have a stab at having a completely fresh kind of IP, like something that no one... Not, where you're discovering yeah. this world yeah. as you're playing it. I, I did like the first Batman series because it was... A established IP that I liked yeah. and a new take on those old stories. Like it wasn't the stale version of Yeah. But it would probably make sense to me with The Walking Dead. Mm. Where mm. They, I think like when they hit it, they did well. Yeah. With the the last couple of years, especially though, the biggest problem with them is that every game has felt like this clunky kind of mess. Yeah. Yes. Because they've been so backwards technologically. Yeah. It feels like they're trying to cram these modern games into this like can that's too small to fit those peaches in. So they, they, they've like got millions of peaches. <laughs> <laughs> that sh- should have been their next license. <laughs> Weezer <laughs> interactive. Tentative. I feel like those. It's the presidents of the yeah. USA. Yeah. Huh? Not to be pedantic, but I know that we'll never hear the end of it on social media. If yeah. I don't presidents of the USA. Yeah. I'm. So, that's what I'm saying. We. The presidents of the <laughs> United States. Oh, that's my bad. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I feel like they started putting, um, not the presidents, Telltale Games started putting more and more money into the writers, and less into the technology. I, it seems like I, like I'm, and the way that this has happened, and the way with everybody being unceremoniously fired, no severance pay, all of this just mm. bullshit that's going on. It seems like that is the case that the management there are fucked. Mm. They seem like. Again, dodgy suit wearing, face mm. smiling salespeople yeah. who have gone to all these different <laughs> places and gone like, "Hey, Marvel, mm. oh, do we have a series for you?" Well, I think it was a Star Wars one, maybe in the world, yeah. something I, like that. I, I mean, it seems like every fucking thing they could, they were literally just trying to go like, "Hey, Jim's mowing." Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do a fucking. And that's what I mean. I mean, just just having blockbuster IPs from other, you know, from other studios or whatever it is. It just to me. Like I remember hearing about uh, one of the early, like maybe maybe the Jurassic Park or Back to the Future one being like, oh that's kind of cool that yeah. someone's mm-hmm. making a thing of that. And again, I never got around to playing them, but I was I was stoked when they brought back Sam and Max. Yeah. Like I thought that was great. I loved that game back in the day, and that they were going to be making more of them. But I think it just became a bit diluted, where it's like, oh well, yeah, of course, this is the company that just you know buys up all these licenses. Yeah. So of course they're doing 
Game of Thrones or whatever it is, it yeah. just kind of becomes hard to care when if they were a bit more sparing and they had their kind of own original content in the mix as well, yeah. you would grow to love the characters that they make yeah. and then when they do get around to doing Star Wars, it'd be like, oh, cool, like... I'm really attached to all these yeah. other worlds that they've shown me. I can't wait to see their spin. But they're not really, you know, they're not really a company that you could go, they have their own. Mm. They kind of do have an art style, but they're, because they're just grabbing whatever license they can and telling someone else's story, you can't really go, oh, this is how they do things. Yeah. yeah the, the company itself becomes disposable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's right. what, and like, yeah, I, fucking anyone could finish off that. Walking Dead series, if it is going to happen. Especially, like, who cares? Like, like, yeah. When you're competing with people like, uh, is it Don't Not Who Made Life is Strange and there's different sort of little things. Sure. Uh, that sort of thing has been going through, that style of game has been going through a bit of a... Um, a bit of a resurgence lately. What was the game we talked about a little while ago? The Edith Finch? Yes, Edith Finch. Yeah. And, sure. and that style of doing things. Not that I love that game, but... Gone you know, Home? You, yeah. Another one? You're you're actually moving around like you're kind of controlling things Tacoma. a little bit more. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You, you, games where you're actually doing stuff. Yeah. In the mid, like you're the you're subsurface emissary. <laughs> 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 you know, it's completely yeah. It's that's th- th- those those are all. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Original stories, original worlds, yeah, original yeah. art styles. Yeah. For it's the just, most part. It yeah. sort of struck me then as well that like I'm a fan of some of the things that Telltale did riffs on Mm -hmm. and I just am not enough of a fan that something immediately like it's kind of you you have to be to be immediately appealed to by the idea of like oh wow they're doing Batman you have to be the level of fan of Batman possibly or it helps to be where you would like buy the fucking pop cap figures and whatever yeah Yeah, fair like I don't think that maybe the licenses were as big of a deal as they seem to be banking on Mm -hmm. because I like half of the things they did yeah and didn't really bother playing them because I remember years and years and years ago they did I think they only ever did one episode of it but they I think this was them they did a um uh an episode of Bone there's a comic book called Bone that's one of my favorite books yeah it's so good like I reread it all the time I absolutely love it and there was talk of the guy because it's just one guy that wrote and drew it and everything himself right there was talk after it finished that Nickelodeon were going to make a movie of it and mm. they never did, like it fell over because I think they wanted to put songs and shit in there and he didn't want to do that. But then Telltale made a little series of it and I think I pl- – or they were meant to make a series right. of it and I played the first one and I was like, this is so cool to see this world come to life because this is as good as it's going to get. Like they're, they're – you know, now that a movie idea has fallen over, mm, it'll yeah. probably never happen. But I guess that's too much of a – it's a big comic book, but it still is a very niche. But mm-hmm. the, the Wolf Among Us was a similar thing where yeah, people sure. seemed to go crazy for that, but it was a less well-known thing. But yeah. again, it was – but that's when it's like – that. it's cool to see a license that, yeah. you know, mm. kind of turned into something. It's just like there's a million – there's a million Batmans out there. The yeah. Game of Thrones show is still on. Like, Mate, yeah. you know. Telltale presents Derek. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that oh, no. would be fucking great. <laughs> I would play that. That would have saved him. But um, yeah, if it, when, when you're not just going for like the biggest, I mean, even Walking Dead, I know people kind of like it, but, you know, there's a comic out there, there's a show that's on at the moment. Mm. Like, I, if you I give it a bit of distance or if the show didn't exist, I think it's just, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just overkill. Like, it's. Overkill's you know. The Walking Dead. Very nice. There that's we the go. fourth thing. <laughs> uh, the, I, I liked that that game was based off of the comics because the comics were better than the TV show. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It, none of it was like exciting at some point. And even though it was like, the, it's technically new because we haven't done Batman before. It's like, yeah, but it's the same thing. Yeah. 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 Again. So. And again, it's like. Th- and it like, sucks because like they have uh, put out so much shit in such a quick time. Yeah. The people who work there are clearly talented and yeah. doing the best with what they can. Sure, yeah. And to they, be, they did pay writers and they invested in storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To be just thrown out to the wolves among the – is awful. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying about like even if it is a new take on Batman, the problem with that is that you still need people to make the leap of the investment – of getting it for them to actually find that out. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, well, that's just a big ask. Like it doesn't really matter mm. how different it is once people get in there yeah. because clearly people just weren't bothering to do it. And like, the episodic yeah. model thing, I think you're right. That Knowing that there's six months of, oh, okay, wait another month or maybe more. Yeah. yeah. I, it, I do I want to wait until that. just the end. Yeah. But yeah. then at the end it's like, oh, I'm not interested anymore. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I never quite got that. Like I, the old point and click games, you know, you'd have like a map and you would like the way that you would unlock ways to get into the map and you could kind of see mm. the whole sort of the whole thing of it from when you started that you were kind of building to something. I've never yeah. quite loved the model of like, oh, this bit of it just goes for a couple of hours and then there's like a new – like I, you know, I, maybe if they had just – I always thought it seemed like a thing where eventually they'll commit to just making a, you know, one of these as like a one big yeah. game and, he, and you know, maybe – Maybe they didn't and we just didn't hear about it or mm. maybe they were planning to. But oh, It sounds like it was a financial yeah. decision Yeah, yeah. That, that that's where their episodic model came from. Because right. they literally didn't have the money to do a whole game. Oh, so, and yeah. they were just managing it so poorly where they're like, if we teeter all the money right on the brink, we can yeah. keep going and going and getting bigger and bigger and inflate it and then I'll sell it. Yeah. Is what it seemed, but it yep. blew up. I guess it's that same thing of like in uh, in this country we have a national youth radio station where Do there's we? like a common perception of like, oh, once your band gets played on that, you know, you must be you must be earning a living off music. Mm-hmm. But right. it's just absolutely not the case. And I guess it's like it's so strange to me that when like, Fitzy and Whip are playing music, <laughs> oh yeah, what the we can know about like this studio, you know what I mean? Like, mm. And then have that level of ubiquity and still not be turning a profit. Just seems crazy yeah. to me, but I guess it's, uh, I guess it's 300 fucking thing. people. That's yeah. so many employees. Yeah. yeah. And they just go like, all right, you fucked. Yeah. yeah. Bye. <laughs> but then still be releasing Jesus. <clears throat> yeah. Have a sip they of water. release Jesus. <laughs> have a big old sip of water there. Oh. there He's so go. emotional That's today. Good stuff. For what? them to be able to, um, Come out and be like, okay, well, we might look at someone else helping with The Walking Dead and we're going to finish Stranger Things. Like, that money that you're looking for, yeah. A, you should have looked for it six months ago. Yeah. Because you know, people are coming forward with offers. That's been the really heartening thing is like a lot of studios have kind of gotten on Twitter and stuff and said if you're one of these people that's been laid off. I think Ubisoft did a big thing oh, yeah. where they were yeah. like, come on down, you know, we're in this, we're, you know, we'll be I think here. Rockstar as well yeah. and Square. And Maybe the, Rockstar's the one I'm thinking of. But, yeah, yeah, a lot of job offers floating around on Twitter, which is, I mean, you know, you'd hope that in a – in a pretty bad story like this, that there would be hmm. a kind of a positive. And yeah, cool. But yeah. then, like, oh, nice. Uproot your life. Go move yeah. to fucking some other place. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, horrible you know, that... Canada or oh. disgusting Scotland or somewhere <laughs> awful. Fucking house hunting again. <laughs> what do you mean meals? I could do anything here. I don't have to just eat a meal. <laughs> I also, I only eat in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> but my point. I mean, you know, people get people get fired every day and don't have the the quote unquote luxury of it being in a in a in a very public way like this where yeah. other yeah. employers are going to come out and go, hey, you've been fucked over on mass and that sucks because we work in this industry too and know what it's like. Totally. Here's, here's, an, here's an offer of hopefully there being a way of making this, yeah. you know, you landing on your feet and not just being like completely out on your ass. Yeah, if you're a 60-year-old Ford factory worker, mm. you're shit out of luck, man. Go yeah. become a real estate agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the camera out. Put <laughs> yeah. your dad's yeah. suit on. Yeah, you better hope you're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, that's that. That's a real bummer. And, it, you know, it's just those, one of those things where, yeah, the, the people just kind of fucking it up up the top mm. just means that, yeah, I, the, the people going in and doing these insane hours and shit have their life kind of fucked over for a bit. Even yeah. if they do end up landing on their feet, yeah, it's a it's a bummer. It's a bummer of a situation. Yeah. That's my f- – like, guys, <laughs> do not fight me on this. <laughs> it's bad that this happened. No, I think it's good. <laughs> Counterpoint, it's medium. Mm. So do, yeah, do you think it is just yeah the, them not selling? It's just the f- just overall fatigue on the on them just putting out the sort of the same type of game again and again. They it's certainly they haven't changed their gameplay style for the better ever. No, they're ju- <laughs> yeah. they're like engine and mm. graphical capability and like just the bugginess of it and all that sort of mm. shit. Yeah, frame rate issues on a two D animated game. Yeah, yeah. But like they they made some good games. I really love the walk the the Walking Dead. No, I don't. The Wolf Among Us season yep. one. Yep. I think it's great. I think it's better than the, the only comic. season. Yeah, unfortunately, I think the Game of Thrones one is good. It's separate right. enough from the the main show's story. I mean, that's I think that's kind of the irony here is that this story is probably going to remind people. Mm. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to play that for a while. Yeah. They probably will see a spike in sales yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, should I recommend some games? Well, the money that is going to be earned from me recommending any games is not going to the employees now. So maybe don't. Yeah, but how much of that, how, you know, how much was that the case, you know, to begin with? Uh, to seven, some extent. 
Really? Yes. Seven seven percent. Yeah. yeah. Goes to the employees. Yes. So every employee gets seven percent. Correct. So seven times three hundred percent is of sales. What's going to employees? Correct. Delta again. Yes. You can take that to the bank. All right. I have no further questions. <laughs> if anyone wants to cite this episode for its good reporting, I'd say time code that and yeah. chuck it in an article. I hope this gets played in a court case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mass suicide. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, it's it's a shame. It's but, a shame. Oh well. Rest in peace. I started playing some games, though, this week. I just remembered that I played a, a, a game from, I think, 2013 or 2012 called The Cave. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the I last week, do you remember okay. the cave? It yeah, was yeah. A double fine. Speaking of like kind of indie-ish mm-hmm. story-focused studios, mm-hmm. so it's kind of like the Lost Vikings. Oh yeah, you, I remember you start that game. off and there's like seven characters that you can choose from. Mm-hmm. Each of them has like a wacky uh, trait where mm-hmm. it's like it's the hillbilly or the time traveler or yeah. the knight, the breakfast radio host, the Fitzy, <laughs> <laughs> the real estate agent, <laughs> <laughs> but, the uh, floor plan. <laughs> You can go through and pick uh, just three of them out of the seven. Okay. And then you go through the entirety of the game with just those three. I'm going to pick floor plan, whipper, and real estate agent. Okay. Well, then what would happen is you would go through this cave. Yes. And the cave narrates it. I think I got this for free, by the way, with like Xbox Live Gold or something Uh at some point. Uh, The cave narrates it. And like it's it's that double finding type of humor where it's like, okay. (laughs) Sure. You know, like, oh. Did I say that out loud? Oh. I didn't mean to. A classic. I didn't mean to part. say this out loud either. <laughs> I'll just stop talking now. Okay. That sort of humor. It's like, I suppose technically that is funny. <laughs> Can I ask you a question that might be hard for you to answer off the top of the head of your head? Uh, what is a sense of humor that you've seen in a game that you have enjoyed? Because I feel like we are all very hypercritical of games attempting to be funny, perhaps because of our, you know, employment. I'm ha- real hypercritical of anything <laughs> yes. attempting to be funny, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. And not necessarily in a nothing is funny way, but yeah, I tend to be a little... For me, it has to be kind of so dumb and so far removed from any attempt at like kind of the actual comedy that I attempt. Yeah. So the comedy of like Nintendo games, for example. Sure. Where it's just goofy and childish and it's not like, okay, this isn't really trying to be funny. This is just kind of a silly, quirky thing. Yeah. Sometimes you can tell there's a bit of like a weird translation in there as well. (laughs) Like, but anything that's like... Engli- you know, originates in English and it's mm. like trying to be like a someone with some giving some comedic chops a flex. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck this. Yeah. Well, I, there were bits of the cave that I think are funny as right. well, where it's not trying to be clever. I think that's the thing that always yeah. annoys me the mm. most in games, especially is when it's trying to be clever, funny, but the the focus is on the clever and it just seems a little smarmy. Yeah. yeah. Portal, Portal One and Two are both examples of like, and it's dark humor. It's very, very dark, dry humor, mm-hmm. which I think works in a game because it's hard to give a good performance through a video game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been except a l- yeah, a dry sort of one. Yes, I agree. It, fucking what's his name? Stephen Merchant? No. <laughs> Ricky Gervais? No. <laughs> Carl Pilkington? <laughs> no. J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is great in Portal 2. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so is Stephen Merchant, I think. Uh, like, he, he's not laugh he's out loud funny. Stephen Merchant. But well, yeah, yeah. And I, I feel like for some reason I always thought in that it seemed like he didn't really know what it was for. <laughs> and, it, it, and when you listen to his voice, imagining that he's just been shoved into a booth <laughs> and is reading contextless pages, yeah, yeah. it just kind of sounds like that. I... I think he loved Portal and he's doing a good performance. Well, agree to agree. You <laughs> won me over. Great. <laughs> uh, I've been laughing a lot at Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> oh, really? It doesn't want me to, but it is stupid. I've found I'm it too... myself insane over here. I know I played like a kind of retro themed platformer recently that I actually thought was pretty funny. Like right. the writing in it was... I remember talking about it at the time when I reviewed it being like... The writing's actually like good and charming and funny. Fuck, I wish I could remember what it was. What There's a pointless interjection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely know that I've laughed at a, a bunch of games, but often I, I like a. I thought Spider Man had funny bits. I disagree. Uh, I disagree. Uh, like, <laughs> I 100% disagree. In terms of what you would do, like, I don't know, bashing someone off of a building and stuff like that. That sort of thing when, when uh, yeah. the game itself is funny and you can get into funny situations. Well, I mean, I was going to say, like, Grand Theft Auto as a series has that. It's pure open world sandbox stuff yeah. that 
allows those things to happen. And it has the worst written comedy of any video. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if that was played completely serious, if the script was played completely seriously, but then, you know, it's like, well, yeah, you can be funny in this mm, game. Mm. You can do stupid shit. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. We don't need a we don't need wise cracks in here. Yes. We don't need a silly radio station. So oh. the cave goes through, Fits this cave it. narrates <laughs> it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> someone edit that for us. <laughs> someone, someone change. Someone make a mod where it's like you just download Fits in with the podcasts and change all the radio stations in the game to just Fits in with. Fuck! I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> once you have your three, and so I guess it's designed to be played through multiple times, mm-hmm. so you can see all of them. But you go through, and there are some what look like <clears throat> just sort of generic. Areas for the cave where you can solve the puzzles with whoever, but each of the characters have a different ability, and you get at some point to a kind of story section for each of the three. Mm-hmm. So I went through as a knight, a monk, and an adventurer, mm-hmm. and so the knight has to like rescue a princess from a dragon, but uh oh, it all goes wrong, and they're all kind of like bastards, or right. they've got some like evil aspect to them where okay. they, they fucked up in some way. Right. And you reveal that through little uh, pictures that you find around the world. Oh, cool. The monk, he wants to be the biggest monk, but the, he hates the head and he's jealous. And so yeah, he, he hates up. Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub really puts him in his place <laughs> and then adjusts him ever so slightly to make sure that he's in. But I've never watched that show. Neither. <laughs> it was on for so long. Yeah. And I don't know a single person who ever watched it. <laughs> I, love, I couldn't work it out. I love Tony Shalhoub as well. I think he's a great actor. <laughs> what do you love him from? I didn't know anything Coen about Bro- him Coen Brothers show. stuff. Ah, okay, right. Yeah, right. Miller's Crossing. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, no, um, uh, the man who wasn't there. He's, he's great. Yeah, yeah, right. He's really good. Yeah. Shalhoub. It was on yeah. for like 10 seasons or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weird, all of those crime shows. NCIS has been going for forty five years. Mm. And <laughs> but I can understand that because it's just like, oh, you you know, you sit down, you watch as as this like serialized show becomes more popular. I definitely can understand the appeal of sit down. Doesn't matter what episode it is, yeah. a crime sure. gets solved within the hour. But then that show was like, oh, and the the main guy is a real fucking <laughs> a real weirdo. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember when. Do you remember uh, which was the one with Vincent D'Onofrio? Criminal Intent. Law and Order Criminal Intent. Yeah. I remember the fucking advertising for that being so annoying because they always went out about how Goran would lean. Yeah, the lean. The <laughs> famous lean. And it, it, like all the Channel 10 ads, whenever that show was going to be on, and I never watched it because of this, because it annoyed me. It was like, and this week there'll be a murder, betrayal, and that lean. <laughs> and it's just fucking Vincent Nofrio like looking at a criminal. Because he's like six foot five. And he, he has just, to lean yeah, down and talk to people. He's like walking into a building like the BF. <laughs> Fucking G, yeah. the I BFFG. Remember, I remember this. I at do. All. I do oh. remember this. It was so annoying. Like that's not a character. <laughs> but he he was good. I watched that show a bit. Out of all the Law and Orders and NCISs and CSIs, that was the only actually good one. Yeah, right. And he's SVU. a great actor. What about SVU Bones? Never Bones sucks. Bones. I saw an ep- I saw an episode of Bones the other day. It's no good. Yeah. yeah. SVU is great. With M- Christopher Maloney. Uh, Christopher tea. Maloney and Ice T. Yeah. Right. This woman's been he's been sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's Ice T. He's got his. That was, he's is got that how he talks? That was yeah, Sylvester the cat. Suffer and fuck attack. That woman's been raped. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, Richard Belzer. Yeah, I like the bells. Um, Hell's Christopher bells. Maloney's great. Yeah, he's a great actor yeah. as well. Uh, Oz, a yeah. great show he was in. Wet Hot American Summer. So the Very nice. uh, adventurer as well has to get through an Egyptian tomb, but okay. she like betrays her uh, comrades and whatever. Mm-hmm. So you go through and do mm-hmm. all of those. There's uh, ones that I think would happen every playthrough. Then you get to the end and it's like, oh, but maybe there's a bit of a curse on you. Maybe you've learned. Maybe you're a bit of a dick. Oh. And, uh, you know, it's but it was fun. The puzzles are pretty simple mm-hmm. and straightforward, but nice. It ran like shit. For okay. some reason, <laughs> uh, like just kept hitching up every time you would move into a slightly new area, like oh, really badly. Trying to set you up with women. It looked, <laughs> it looked, man. Hitch was another one of those where it's just like <laughs> this character is empty, and you're trying to make him into the biggest fucking deal. Yeah. Oh, the DVD for Hitch. And I don't <laughs> oh, here know, we go. Here we He's go. going on a tear. Wow. I don't know why. Oh, fucking it, hell. Why this bothered me so much. But Little the front did I cover, know the gold I was stumbling upon. <laughs> yes. The front cover of Hitch, the DVD, <laughs> yes. was Hitch leaning on his own name. On the like, word, oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. And then you'd open it up and it'd be him on the DVD cover as well with his hands out going like, hey! 
Hey, oh, yeah. now I'm in here. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what it was about Hitch having such a like, <laughs> I'm Hitch yeah. attitude where I was like, so what if you're Hitch? Yeah. That's Who's Hitch? <laughs> Fuck you. I, I feel like I would have said this before, but even from a young age, the the our characters in the film are aware that they're in this poster for this film <laughs> has yeah. always severely bothered me. Yeah. It's like, why is he stand? Why is he just standing there in front of yeah. big text with his name on it? <laughs> why does he know that he's in the box of the DVD? <laughs> Is this going to come up when I put the DVD in and watch the story about his life? Mm. It's always really – like in TV dramas and stuff where they have like all the cast hanging out, you know, it's like all the cast in the one setting right. from the oh, show. Sure. Never actually did this. Yeah, yeah. and it's like you two hate each other. Like yeah. you're literally not in any scenes together. <laughs> You'd never be drinking out of the same milk and shake. <laughs> 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 yeah, there was a friend's press shot where they're all in bed yeah. together. It's yeah. Like, Wait, so they have all they have all had a big orgy yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> There's never been a horse that long. <laughs> Get off of it. <laughs> it's like one of those things from being a kid where it just used to really bother me. And it's like even at a young age going, something's not right with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could just <laughs> see this and not care. That's real young monk yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I, I enjoyed like you, you switch control between each of the three at all times as well. So okay. I like the Lost Vikings, but one of them has yep. to be up here and pull the lever to get the uh, other okay. one to move the bucket down there and do that sort of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Mm. I have to say, and it works well. It's moving it's, buckets. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's very dude. What am I, the Colonel? Because I'm moving buckets. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sanders. Very, very yeah. nice. Colonel Sanders. Uh, yes. And the uh, <laughs> the it, the sort of little story bits are actually quite fun. Mm, cool. I, I like. Like the way it looked, it looks like an old game. Obviously, mm -hmm. I think it's likely that a bunch of these double fine ones will come out on the Switch again. That seems to be what they're oh, doing. Yeah. Is going back through the old generation, have they putting out Bastion and all that sort of oh, stuff? Yeah, not double yeah. fine, but like those sort of games. Yeah. yeah. So I Has could anything imagine double fine come out, or have they announced anything coming out? Uh, Bro uh, Broken Age is that them? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. and that's on there. Now. I think that's out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. is. So yeah. I, I reckon they might turn their sides to this at some mm. point. Yeah, and it's good. I probably am going to go through and do the other ones. There's like that's cool. A time traveler, two creepy twin kids, mm -hmm. um, a hillbilly. Nice. Which I don't know what his thing's going to be. Probably uh, um, redneck. A scientist. And they each have special abilities so the knight mm -hmm. can go invincible to, you know, if you need to get through a fire bit and mm -hmm. uh, so on and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, it was good. Yep. And nice. for the price of free, yeah. it killed an afternoon. Can't Very beat nice. that. Dude, yes, you can. <laughs> Using an afternoon. Ah, <laughs> being paid to play it. Yeah, there that we would go. Beat it. Yeah. There Shadow we go. of the Tomb Raider, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah. is a dreary fucking boredom filled. The, everything it m tries to make you do. If that game yeah. was just an open jungle yeah. where you can go and explore tombs of your own volition, mm -hmm. that would be a great game. Yes. Give it a Metroid y thing. Yes. Go, which it kind of has. And the, and the previous ones had probably more so I'm actually finding now. Right. Yeah. Because uh, it's just really funneling you through the story. Yeah. And the story's fucking terrible. It's it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. All of the characters are so poorly written where they don't have any person fucking at all. <laughs> and and like, you make them say fucking in the middle of a word. Yeah. That's You've done that you twice can... now. <laughs> uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a ripe fucking mood. The well, BF fucking G. <laughs> Purse. This guy's got no purse of fucking nality. <laughs> I really like that. The the <laughs> Jonah is so dull. Yeah. Why are they friends? Hey Lara, I'm gonna go the other way and I'm gonna talk to you through um the walkie-talkie. Hey Lara, I found some uh, writing on this wall. Uh, should I read it? <laughs> uh, Jonah, probably. Um I'm going to say read that writing to yeah. me. Well, uh, Laura, it says... Uh, <laughs> i got to be honest. I thought that's what this podcast was going to be. <laughs> yeah. We were all in the group chat saying we felt very tired. Me and Ben went out for a curry right before we yeah, did this. Yeah, and a beer. <laughs> I thought we were going to be in for a real uh, real sleepy one. Yeah. This has been, you know, the energy has been pretty high. So I mean, I'm exhausted. Yeah. I think <laughs> we've gone through the other side. Yeah, we've punched through. Yeah. Yeah. 
like Lyra does into little walls the yeah. way there's so much fucking busy work yeah. in that game where it's making you pick up all these bullshit plants and stuff and like just fuck off <laughs> let me let me just have the plant when I walk near it or there something. is there is way more I know your criticism in the past with these games and games like it like yeah. some of the Uncharted's is like it's just pushing forwards so many just like you're gonna have to go through that crack Lara and so you just have to hold forward and do nothing there's no skill yeah, totally. doesn't look good there's nothing interesting about it it's Climb just like on this obvious wall mm. and like it just there's there's bits in some of the tombs where it works and all yeah. the stuff that's in there it like you don't quite know how to platform when you figure it out you're like oh cool I actually kind of feel like I did that yeah there's some puzzle elements to that as well yeah. timing based stuff like there are good elements to the game the combat can be okay I like the combat yeah I like the combat and visually it's good it's not creative but it's detailed and, yeah. and it's you know it's beautiful jungles like sure that's, yeah. yeah it doesn't run amazingly there's little bits where it kind of hitches and it's at 30 uh, frames and everything. It's been for, is that on Xbox? They're like, uh, not much. There's like input lag as see, well. Yeah, see, I didn't notice that. You said that to me and I played it and I was like, no, it's fine. Right. I could, it's, if you, you'll move the stick to the left and then a split second will go and then the camera will move. Maybe my brain's slow. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, there's if there was a single character in that story, mm. then the story would be bearable. And if the story wasn't in there, then the game would shine through. But mm. it feels like you're digging in this old abandoned <laughs> tomb to find the game. Oh! They meant to do it. <laughs> Game of the year. <laughs> but it, yeah, it feels like you're really having to like scrub off the dirt yep. to get through to the good bit. And the, yeah. it, it's not worth the effort half the time. I, I'm i just, I'm biased towards these kind of games. Right. Um, and I have been enjoying playing it in the broader sense. But you're right. Like... Um, Tommy just, if you heard a big bang, by the way, <laughs> it's because Tommy put his microphone down and then bashed the headphones <laughs> yeah. on top of him. And the irony is I was like, I'll do this instead of just asking Ben to pass me my <laughs> phone because that would be a disruption. <laughs> oh, he's talking for a bit. I've got a, I've got a little window here where I can get up and grab my phone. You knocked over a full band <laughs> kit. <laughs> you shouldn't have put that vase in the middle of the meals area. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying playing it overall. I'm enjoying it more than Spider-Man, despite the fact that Spider-Man has some more enjoyment enjoyable elements and has a vibe to it and even if sure. you know like it's it i think i wanted to see where the story went and tommy you were saying mm. that that you got to a point where the story had got you in spider-man yeah i think you were talking about it uh last time last time last step we did maybe yeah because yeah. you'd finished it and yeah. that it, it once it hits that point mm. and i think i was like just before that point um before uh now uh, <laughs> No, when we when we recorded, yeah, like I got to that bit, so I'm in it now. Like I'm, <laughs> God. I don't know where you are. Yeah, <laughs> give me a floor plan here. Let me figure um, out. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it more. And I was enjoying it. Play, I was like enjoying it, but it, it. I think I hit the point that you're talking about where right. it's just now. It's like each little beat I'm really into, mm. and yeah, I think I said it when we talked about it. Um, you know, on the episode where we properly reviewed it. Mm. But um, if you can call. Anything that we do on this show, a review. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't, I don't love superhero movies. Like I, yeah. I just find them a bit. I don't know. I kind of find them all a bit the same. Especially the Marvel movies. They just all feel interchangeable and like they're just th the same music and the same yeah. kind of beats. So they are just. <laughs> and so playing playing through one of these stories is like way more interesting to me than right. And so like. Each of the little story beats, the way it's set up where it's like, well, here's the thing that's happening in the plot and here's a little task that you're doing to make that unfold. Mm. So I did the thing where you're – and I'm kind of getting to a point where there's a bit more interesting stuff happening in it too, mm. like going up the elevator shaft and oh, yeah. Um, yeah. crawling along the building and having to like disable the – you know, you kind of get these nice little breakups in between um, your you ones that are just more traditional like swinging around and then fighting people. Yeah. And it just feels like, yeah, it just, it just, it, it's, it's, I think maybe it's the fact that it's all in an open world, maybe story wise, makes it feel a bit more interesting to me than like an Uncharted game. Whereas Uncharted, you're just going. Which is the opposite of what you said when we did review it. I think you said if that, had, if this was an Uncharted style game, mm. you'd be more into it. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, I think... Because you, you, you often find the, the sort of repetitive, busy work of open world games to be not interesting at all. Yeah, I think, it, I think with this, with the story, it's the fact that, like, you're finishing a, th- you're finishing a mission and then you're still anchored in the same place. Yeah. So you have a bit more context for where you're meant to be going. That game really finds its legs not at the start. Too. Yeah. yeah. So I think that, that it, yes, definitely New York... Becomes a character itself. <laughs> oh boy, is the way I would phrase it. Oh boy, I like I'm not even really doing much of the other stuff that's in right. that's in there. I'm not really doing any of the side missions. It's just something about even when the mission that you're doing is very on rails, and you'll go into a building where it's like you know GTA. You'll be driving around a city, and you can veer away, and you can kind of end the mission at any point. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of things in Spider-Man where you are locked in this one area. Yes, but it's the fact that you clear that and then it cuts to like the next day or whatever it is where you're perched atop the building that you mm. were just in doing that mission and you have context for where the next thing you have to go to. It It, it, it feels, I don't know, it feels like it has, it story-wise, I don't know what it, it specifically it is that's making me feel that way but mm. I feel, I kind of feel more hooked into the story than I have in a game in, in quite a while. Yeah, I think towards the back half of Spider-Man, yeah, that definitely happens. And contrast that with Tomb Raider, where I'd say almost exactly the opposite things about it. Yeah, where the yeah. the story is terrible, the missions that it makes you do are so dull. Yeah. Like, just walking through this fucking bit, Lara feeling guilty the whole yeah. time. Like, just this completely uh, melodramatic, com- but completely devoid of any actual kind of... Drama. Uh, tension and drama. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, yeah. so much of what I think makes Spider-Man good is that in between missions, well, like, you're swinging around in between places. Mm. Like, that's fine. And in between the missions in Tomb Raider, though, you're raiding these tombs. And yeah. that's right. it. It's raiding great the tombs fun. in there. Yeah. Fucking make that game a whole big jungle yeah. with uh, fuckloads of tombs. Yep. You got yourself a Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah. That's how you become the, the Tomb Raider. It's in the title. <laughs> I just, yeah, I... I think I also picked up on this. I don't know if this was something that you said, Nox, or one of our um, listeners in the in the Facebook group, but the facial animations are awful. They're yeah. so devoid of personality. The lead character, like, she's literally flat. Her face has no texture or personality to it's it. It's weird. It's weird how they've, like... T- that's changed yeah. as well. Like that, it's so strange. It was passable in the previous two, yeah. and the s- writing of the stories was boring. But this... All of that stuff sucks. And yeah, it's a shame because the gameplay is fun. I like this kind of game. It's the same problems that Mankind Divided had, which is mm. this studio where... The, yeah. The, so is this IDOS Montreal? Yeah. Yeah. And they just uh, don't have a flair for writing interesting stories, it seems yeah. like. Yeah. Because this is the most... It's just so blank. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there's no way to skip it. I have literally just been looking away from the TV. (laughs) (laughs) Like it's Medusa. (laughs) Yeah. It can't bore me if I can't see it. Let me do some Googling on my phone. Yeah, I've been a lot of fun time during those parts. I um I've been playing I've gone back into Hollow Knight which uh, I was playing um, just after I got back from Thailand when I was actually house hunting mm. I when I was first started playing it I was just losing hours a night to it like just sitting sitting up until like two in the morning just yeah. sinking hours and hours and hours into it and then I got up to this bit that I this boss that I just could not beat and I kind of drifted away from it I think a couple of new things came out. And I've just revisited it. Um, I kept kind of coming back to it like every week or so. I would play it for like 15 minutes and just not be able to do this certain boss, which it's very much a game where you, if you take a step away from it, you really do lose your your skills and your right, response so. time is so down. It's like a real like quick response. Yeah, you just sort of get thing. very, I don't know, it's one of those things where you like you die a lot and you just get very like in the zone quick and it. in yeah. the zone. Right. Yeah. Um, it's not got simple controls either. Like I mm. found that I forgot them after a yeah. few days. Right. So, so I, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of sat down the other week and I just went, I'm just going to make myself f- beat this boss now. It's happening now. Like I'm not, I'm not going to bed until I clear this boss. Right. Otherwise I'm just never going to go any further in this game. If I only try to beat him for like 15 minutes, you know, once a week, it's just never going to happen. And uh, cleared him and it, you know, it's, it's it like all, you know, Metroidvania, you beat him and then you get a bit, you, you get a new ability where it's like, 
oh, fuck, I know what bit this is going to unlock. Sure. But of course, because I hadn't played it for so long, I couldn't remember where that was on the map. So I had to uh, kind of fuck yeah. around to get back up there. Yeah. That but is just, one thing about that game that I don't really like is the little buttons and stuff on the map aren't particularly helpful. No. Right. Yeah, I would like to be able to just literally annotate it, just write on it. Mm. You can, yeah, you can buy little markers to put down on there, but, but yeah, I they don't really help. what the fuck help. they mean. No, you're absolutely right. right. And even visually, because it's just very bare bones, like an outline, almost yeah. like a floor plan. Mm, um, interesting. If it's like, like you remember sort of some st- what a bit looked like in the lead up to somewhere yeah. because you're just getting the bare essential facts of like the lines like it's impossible to remember that said I did I did find this area again pretty quickly and yeah just that that's I think I just really love metroidvanias like that that feeling of especially when it's a, an area that you've seen since the start of the game mm-hmm. which which was the case with this bit where it's like how the fuck do you get in there like yeah. Um, and just done, and yeah, as soon as it's like, oh, you have this ability now going like, oh, that's what that's for. And then it, yeah. like this whole new bit of the map opening up to you. And then, yeah, I was just straight back on my bullshit, just hours just exploring this new bit of the map and then trying to find the safe point in there and trying to find the guy that, because there's like a little cartographer guy who you find who actually, you can't view the map in a new area until you've like found this guy who, right. he gives it to you. So then you He's actually like have context whistling for... whistling if you're near him yeah. so you can find him. So then you have context for where you've been and where you've got to go and where the save points are and all that sort of stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I talked about it briefly when I started playing it and I you've played it and finished it since then, Adam, but I don't know if we've talked about it on the show, but it really is it's just such a fantastic game. It's so good. Yeah. Like every – it's so focused on what it does well Yeah, that there's not really – there's little bits of story stuff. There's little bits of uh, platforming kind of, but it focuses on like this really good combat that it's got yep. with bosses that are really well designed and this – Excellent exploring. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> exploring. And the bits of story are just kind of there for you to find if you want. So yeah, you kind of right. will find people around Again, who, Metroid style. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, little, and little signs that are like, oh, this bit commemorates this thing that happened. So if you're really, right. really into that, you can, you know, I sort of super don't, I don't really pay much attention to that kind of stuff. Like I can kind of read it and go, oh, yeah. But like mm. if, you, if you really... I, from what I've read of on other reviews, like there, there really is this whole kind of like there lore is. and backstory of this whole kind of city, underground city, and stuff that's built into it that you can that you can, yeah, piece together yourself. Mm. The Hollow Knight has a genuinely really funny part. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. So that's another game. Oh, I found Owl Boy quite funny, like yeah. charmingly funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That might be Del Boy. Also funny. <laughs> what? Del Boy. Yeah, Del Boy. Um, Del Boy from Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's I've what it's from. It. Yeah. Yeah, very funny. Rodney, <laughs> Uncle Albert, <laughs> Granddad, Tim the Tallman Taylor, uh, Shep, mm. <laughs> I believe his name is Monk. He falls through the he, he falls down the um, bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, everyone check out Hollow Knight if you. It, I think it's on. I think it might be on everything except it's Xbox at on this point. Just PC and Switch, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is it not mm, PS4? Steam and, right. Steam and Switch. Yeah, right. I think that, uh, yeah, I don't think it's on PS4 or Xbox And yet. it's it's so big. Like, there's heaps of stuff to do in it, and it's yeah. like 20 bucks or something like I've that. I played right. it for like 40 hours overseas, something yeah. much like Fuck. that. And I did about like 87% or something by the end. Yeah. There Jesus. are some really fucking hard bosses. Yeah, totally. That are like the uh, sort of challenge things at the end that I just realized, like, I'm never going to. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. This is a young man's game. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This young man, young man, <laughs> is not going to do it. I went back in on Mario Tennis Aces. It's no, still not, still not what I want it to be. <laughs> I actually, for whatever reason, I I got really into it while I was away. I was playing really? a lot of it on the train, but just playing the um, just the standard like offline tournament mode, just the single player kind of you know having to work your way through a ladder of people, right? And um. Yeah, I got. I haven't touched it. Like I was like, "Oh, this has clicked with me, and I'm really into this now." I've barely picked it up since I got back. They yeah. keep, they add a new character every month. That's funny. That yeah, you have the, to the, get on the fact that you're in regards to Mario Tennis Ace is like kind of going back and forth. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, well, I am informed. <laughs> How's that a <laughs> online service? I haven't played it. I've it was playing it online before service. the online. It's, oh, I is see. it out yet? Out. Ah, uh, yep. Let yep. me talk about this. Yep. Oh. 
We're at fault for not stopping this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I was just about to do that. Um, uh, We've been a double it, fault. I'll make sure that this uh, is Sharap over. Now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no good. I'm playing the adventure mode and it's just frustrating. It's like, yeah. there's a fucking a flaming mast in the middle. Of the, I don't want to yeah, do this. I, got to a I bit wish weird. that was different. I wish they'd yeah. made that more like the Game Boy yeah. kind of ones that they yeah. had. But yeah, I... I it was a real strike. <laughs> <laughs> I've been um, kind of hopping on because they'll put a new character up every month mm. and you get them early if you just play one match online. Yeah, yeah. And um, I have found that a couple of the they, – they've been adding kind of more sort of smaller, speedier characters, which, mm-hmm. which I think playing as them has made it a bit more enjoyable for me. But, yeah, just in terms of – being on a train or a or a plane for a little bit and just wanting to in an yeah, automobile, just yes, uh, just wanting to just have a few quick rounds. I I really really got into it, but right. again, that's another one of its big problems is that there there really is no real reward for winning the the single player tournaments. Like I kind of right. if that if that was a thing where you unlocked new courts or new characters or. Just, just something beyond there being a little tick next to that character's name. Yeah. It probably is something that I would have like obsessively gone through. Like, mm. you know, with Mario Kart where you unlock those new cups by doing all the pre-existing ones. Yeah. If it had something like that, I would have been, I, I would have been gone all the way through it. But I, I kind of did it over there for, did like two tournaments and then got back and went, okay, there's other stuff to play. Yeah. 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 Do you want to talk about Death Stranding trailer at oh, all? Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. It's, uh, I don't know, it doesn't change how I feel about it, really, uh, one way it's or the other. It's more like of a, the same stuff. Yeah, yeah just, just a minute and weird, a half Weird cinematic thing stuff. That looks cool, but there's less in this one. And then the other ones have all gone for like, you know, nearly 10 minutes or something like that. Wait, did I like watch very it? Very brief. I did watch it. It's a big it, lion head Troy weird Baker. thing. Yes. And he's like, ah, oh, I got this dog. Yeah. And the dog has a butthole for a yeah. mouth. Yes. Okay, I did watch that and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think, yeah, I feel the same as before. I don't know what this game is. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, there'll be boss fights, I guess. Sure. That looked like, uh, uh, that was the first thing where I was like, that looks like a video game. Yeah, like, okay. okay. I can understand what is going to happen next. Right. I think I wasted a bunch of fucking time because <clears throat> TGS was on the Tokyo Game Show. Yep. And they, they had like these streams coming out of it. And I just saw like there'll be a Final Fantasy 15 stream with announcing new content. And I was like, okay, I'm going to watch that. It'll be in Japanese, which will be like kind of fun to like yep. pretend that I'm uh, in Japan. Ah, yes. And then they'll announce, I assume, those new, show some stuff of those new episodes that they said they were going to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bunch of fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. Like 45 minutes of them going like, and you've all been waiting for it. The tie-in with this mobile game you've never uh, fucking heard of. God. <clears throat> Here's a costume. You can play as Grumpson. Oh, Grumpson. From uh, Terror Wars. T-E-R-A. Uh, T-E-R-R. <laughs> it's a weird title. <laughs> T-E-R-A. <laughs> Terror Wars. And right. then... A Tomb Raider thing with something that looks nothing like Lara Croft. Cool. And some other one that only had Japanese text, so I don't know what it was called. It's great. But I'm going to assume Terror Wars. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. And then they were like, and there's mods on the PC. Oh, so they're like, we put the host in this one. Look at these. They look like they're from Final Fantasy VII. Aren't we having a whale of a time? And then they showed a bunch of keychains and shit. Oh. Fucked off. <laughs> and everyone <laughs> politely clapped. <laughs> and they, Did you politely clap? I loudly booed. Oh, no. And they, the opposite. Think, yeah. yeah. I don't think they could hear me because they were fucking arrogant. But well, it depends <laughs> how loud the boo was. That's very Very true. loud. Great. This loud. Okay, that's actually the opposite. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was such a waste of time. Nothing really seemed to come out, come out of TGS. Yeah, not really. Devil no. May Cry 5 has like uh, yeah. uh, microtransactions in it, but apparently they won't matter. Right. So that doesn't matter. No. Hopefully. Well, we'd better wrap this up for another week because I have to go. <laughs> um, uh, guys, thanks. One of our classic reasons to wrap up. <laughs> uh, thanks for listening, guys. Um, we are on all the socials. We're on Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to support the show uh, for as little as a dollar a month, you can do that. We send out rewards to various. Not for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a dollar. But hey, it all helps. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, yes, you can find all the links to all our stuff, filthycasuals.com.au. Come to PAX. Come to PAX, October the 28th. We're going to mm. be on at 5 p.m. at the Ibis Theatre. Which is the Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Doing a little wrap-up of uh, of the PAX that was. PAX Australia, we yes, should PAX say. Yes. Wrap-up spelt with just an R, by the way. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Boom, booch, boom, 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 boom. Red Dead Redemption came out two days ago. I want to play it. Let's go home. Nice. They Good, almost really rhyme. Good. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks very much for joining us. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals. Uh, a blueprint of the zoo headquarters, the magazine Zoo, <laughs> yeah. where their built office building is called a floor plan. Oh. Floor Hell plan. Yes. Yeah. Adam Norks. <laughs> <laughs>